Okay, so while that, uh, that back is drying up in the uh, vacuum press, we're going to go, uh, go ahead and install the bindings under this fretboard. Uh, the reason why we're, we're installing the, pre-installing the bindings is because um, we've already got the uh, body wings and everything attached to the, uh, to the neck. So what that does is it kind of throws a wrench into our plans for the binding. Um, we can go ahead and, and put the binding on afterwards, but we're going to have a problem with the side dot markers that are going to uh, run up this side of the fretboard. Uh, drilling for those down where, uh, where the body and the neck meet up uh, is going to be pretty tough to do once the now that the body wings are on. So we're going to go ahead and install the binding now. And then we're going to pre-drill for those before we actually install the uh, fretboard onto the instrument. So what I've done is I've just taken a piece of uh, 2x6 and I've uh, run it through the joiner a couple times to make sure it's nice and flat. And I've wrote a little pocket in the end here um, for these wires so that uh, when I sit this thing down on here it's going to sit flat. Now you'll notice here too I've also got a piece of wax paper running on both sides here. And what that's going to do is it's uh, whenever I, I glue this binding onto the neck, I don't want it to be gluing it to this piece as well too. So this is just going to protect it so that uh, we don't end up getting glued to the uh, to the substrate here, I guess you could call it. Okay, so I'm just going to line this up here as to where we need to be. Looks like we're sitting down there tight now. So go ahead and I'll press down on that. Okay, so now what that does is this gives us a nice uh, edge here so we know that the flat side of our fretboard is going to sit flush with the flat side of our bindings here so then what we'll do is we'll uh, you know we'll leave these a little bit long but we'll generally we're going to install them we're going to use super glue I think for this and uh, get them all installed peel them off of here and then we'll be able to uh, drill for our side dot markers. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a nice sharp chisel so that we can mark these and cut them, same way we did on the uh, as we did for the headstock. And then uh, we'll come back and install these puppies. Okay, so we got a good sharp chisel here and uh, a pencil. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how this end piece uh, lines up with. Uh, this side piece here because I believe it's cut square and if it is then we're just going to go from there that looks good like that so I'm going to mark this right here right under that. and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger just a hair and then we'll come back after we're done and we get it attached and we'll shave that down so it's um, so it's flush with the, the front of the, the fretboard here Okay, so we've got our line here. Make sure we draw some. I want to make sure that we cut it as square as possible. We're just gonna set the chisel down on it, get it squared up to the piece here. It's looking pretty good. Rock a little bit back and forth. Now make sure that you do have a sharp chisel to do this. There we go. it up a little bit just like so okay so there we go it's looking pretty good so what we'll do is we'll grab our uh, uh, thick bodied um, super glue and we'll start attaching this thing hopefully we don't get too much of it on our hands okay we want to make sure that we have have it uh, positioned properly, orientated properly. We just want to squeeze this out. We just want to get a little bit started at first. Okay. And we're just going to get it lined up here as good as we can. We're just going to leave it just a little bit proud here.
And the idea is you want to try to keep it pressed against this piece here. And now that we've got that started there, you can just go ahead, start applying more glue. Work along as we go, pushing down and just kind of holding for a couple seconds here. The idea is you don't want to go uh, too far past where you're going to be able to hold down with your hands manually because that is an important step to just kind of clamp it for a few seconds uh, in the position you want it to be in. area here. Yeah, we're ready for the other side here now. So it goes this way. That is not square at that end. So we're gonna cut a square end on that here. That looks pretty good. Get there. Okay. Now we're going to take this and just kind of line it up. Looks like we're right there. Okay, so we'll mark that just a little bit past the end of our prep work. Transfer that line. Looks like uh, that's what we need to be where we need to be there. Okay, just a little bit over. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now we'll start applying some glue. You really got to be careful when you set this on that you're at the position you want to be at because it uh, once it holds, it holds pretty good. it's inevitable this kind of job too it's just bound to happen bound to happen okay last piece here and we're gonna cut this off square looks good it up here and make our mark and I'm just going to leave the mark on there just barely leave it on there looking pretty good like that so that fits in that fits pretty good if you say so myself so Apply some glue here. Now we have to be careful that we get this positioned as quick as possible because this one here is going to be a little bit finicky because we got to fit it between two pieces. So, with that being said, looks like we just ran out of glue here too, so I'm going to spread this around a little bit. Okay, here we go. Quick in there just like that and push down, make sure it's pushed down completely, pushed up against. Okay, so now we're gonna peel this up off of here. And as you can see, we're nice and flush all the way around here. 
Okay, good, good. That part's out of the way. So, okay, so I've went ahead and I've uh, center punched all of these holes here. And I'm going to be using a 764 drill bit. You know, a little bit of uh, super glue in that hole and then I uh, just squeeze these in as tight as we can. And uh, that should be, should be good. Okay, so what I need to do here is um, I'm going to grab a piece of masking tape or something and I'm going to wrap it around this blade or uh, this bit so that we can uh, keep track of our depth because we don't want uh, we don't want to be drilling into our electronics back here for our LEDs so we want to make sure that we have uh, a, you know just a reference for the, how deep we're drilling these holes so I'm going to find the area that has the least amount of room to work with and I'm thinking probably right here so now it looks like we have about five millimeters max. Okay, so I want to take a piece of tape here, and what we'll do is we will measure down five millimeters from the point. We'll just run this piece of tape right here. Okay, so you know it's a very, very shallow hole we're going to be doing. Um, you know, I kind of tested this glow-in-the-dark uh, side dot material, and uh, it seems when you uh, charge the end of it, um, it pretty much illuminates about four or five millimeters, and that's it. So um, that's actually a perfect depth for us. We don't need to use any more of the material than that, anyways. Um, it's not like if you use more, it, 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 it you know it glows lighter or anything. So, okay, we'll just double check that now that we got that in place. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna start down here at the third fret, and what we want to do is we want to get on our line or on our point, get our hole started. And then we want to drill as fast as we can, not as fast as we can, but we want to drill nice and steady and just to that depth. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Okay, we'll move down to the next one. Get on your point. Reference point established here. To our depth, we're good to go. And uh, we're just going to keep working our way down the fretboard until we get every single one of them done. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got uh, got all our holes drilled here, and uh, we're ready to install our side dot material. So uh, all we're going to be using is uh, this stuff here it's got a glow in the dark center and uh, it's black on the outside so you know it has the appearance of being a black inlay or black uh, dot marker for you know a bound fretboard or you know they got other stuff too that doesn't have the black stuff around it and um, yeah that's just for you know uh, ebony or uh, or a rosewood or you know a darker type of wood fretboard or binding okay so um, installation is pretty straightforward on this I am going to clamp it in the uh, guitar vise just so I'm just going to take a little bit of our uh, super glue if there's any left in here we might have to open another container oh, there's some there okay so we got some super glue in there here it is well there we go and then we're just going to take this and we're going to stick it in here and kind of turn it get it to where we want it and that's pretty good there um, so we got a little bit of um, squeeze out right here so anyways, you get it uh, set to the depth that you want it to, and you just want to cut it off about, you know, 
about a sixteenth of an inch or so proud of the surface and we're just going to continue on doing the same technique going all the way down the fretboard same thing just cut it off just proud Move on. wipe this uh, excess stuff right here on the back side so it doesn't interfere when we go to uh, put our attach our uh, fretboard you know and this is basically the same idea all the way down so uh, yeah we'll come back and have a look after we get them all filed down and have them and uh, see what we got